The state of healers is concerning in the beta for the war within. There are some dope changes, things that feel great, but also some major worries in regards to healing throughput. This makes for some interesting conversation on the topic, and I want to share my thoughts. Let's get into it quick though. My name is Bowser the Healer, and you probably know me for pugging a little too much M plus as a healer. I have a lot to cover here, so hey, if you like healing content, get subscribed, or if you just like listening to me talk about World of Warcraft, hey, I appreciate you. Let's start with the tougher topic, healing throughput. And disclaimer, this is a beta, so this feedback is mostly for the dev team, but also to start a conversation in the comments section. But as a reminder, stay civil down there, and remember that anything can change. A build could go up in two days and destroy everything I talk about today. Throughput felt pretty lacking on most healing specs. The only healing spec I haven't tried is Resto Shaman, but every other spec felt bad outside of their new interactions, barring maybe one or two of them. Now, a huge part of this could be stats. We're getting scaled to, I think, 580 or something like that in dungeons. I'm lacking the normal haste and mastery weights I would try to run at the start of an expansion, but some of these problems I, I don't feel like are 20 to 50% of my mastery being missing. And a good example of that is Discipline Priest. And as a reminder going forward, remember we have around six to seven million health as DPS and healers. Atonement is on, I pump the spell and it does almost nothing. This is true in and out of dungeons, and it feels even worse if I were to use the penance for damage healing through Atonement. Dark Reprimand is the same way. It's a stronger spell. It should be healing more and doing more healing through Atonement. And it is, but it's still pretty bad, like somewhere in the six to 12% of health bar range where it does way more on retail right now. Flash heal is okay at 500k with almost a 1 million crit. That's totally fine, but that's with atonement. So if I think five flash heals with atonement on, it doesn't take that long to heal someone up currently on live, so it doesn't feel great. Now, atonement is mastery, right? So maybe more mastery could really help out here, but then I want you to look at the atonement healing from the new Void Blast on Void Weaver. I'm not checking the names in front of me. Pretty sure it's a Void Weaver. But this new Void Blast move in Shadow Covenant, yes, it's doing more healing than some of those Dark Reprimands and Penances were doing, even as direct healing. That's a trend that you will see across the beta, where there's a move like Engulf on Preservation that which it's just not okay. Look at this clip. It's an insane amount of healing. But then when you get to certain moves like Burden Embrace or a raw living flame, it feels more underwhelming than you would expect it to. Holy Paladin may be the worst defender here. There's new talents, they all read great, they look great, and honestly mechanically feel pretty good, but I got a full daybreak setup with Holy Shocks and I got everyone Glimmer and I went to Blast and AoE and I, it almost did nothing. Like it felt awful. Resto Druid and Mistweaver feel okay healing wise, but below where they are in retail. If that's the direction that the development team wants to go with healing, I could live with it. It didn't feel too bad. Preservation felt okay for the most part, but again, certain moves like Burden Embrace and Living Flame felt like they weren't doing nearly as much as I wish they did, and the new moves like Engulf were blasting. I'm gonna go over individual specs in their own videos, so again, get subscribed if you wanna see those. This makes me worried about dungeons in Mythic Plus and beyond. Are the damage checks going to be huge, like in this Paladin footage where we're scrambling to do a mechanic healing is slow and very painful to perform, that won't scale nicely, I bet. But on the contrary, some of my concern is lessened, remembering that the start of this season, like most seasons, also felt pretty terrible when we pushed high content. We were getting into 12s, which were 22s last season, with our gear from season three, and it hurt, it was brutal. So maybe we're scaled down intentionally. Maybe the devs wanna see us in this sort of undergeared state. If that's the case, I think some adjustments can be made to make things feel pretty good. But how that Void Blast healed with uh, Atonement versus the rest of the Discipline Priest kit, that definitely concerns me. But there is good news. Damage, while it was a bit all over the place, felt good when it was high, especially in Holy Priest, Resto Druid, and Discipline Priest most of the time. Preservation is straight up broken right now. The damage is absolutely not intentional. Like, I, I rip thread off tanks, it's ridiculous but playing with it felt fun. And this brings me to a point I've seen on Twitter a few times, and I've seen it for both healers and tanks, and I think it's worth the conversation. It feels nice in these beta dungeons, having more impact on damage in a dungeon. Raid healing in Dragonflight is totally fine, and same with PvP, and their damage values also feel good, so I wouldn't want to change this for raid or PvP. But healing in Dragonflight feels good right now. In Season 3 and Season 4, I think they've nailed it. 
but the damage we bring is so much lower than that of the DPS and tanks, and tanks still lack meaningful single target damage. And with the 4 DPS comp becoming more popular in higher keys, it makes sense. You can do so much more if that healer slot is doing way more damage. I even got to try it with my friends. We ran some 8s and we easily plus 3'd them. It wasn't free, we definitely had our scares, but I think now said it best. Tanks and healers should have more impact. For me, the most fun tanking experiences have been Gavel Season 3 of Shadowlands with Blood DK, Ash and Hollow Prop Paladin from Shadowlands, and Cataclysm any tank, because it felt like your actions mattered. Currently, we're just a stupid meat shield throwing out utility. And I couldn't agree more, even on the healing side of things. If you give the M plus power to healers and tanks to keep up a bit more with the damage, I think you solve this issue. If you make healing hard like in Season 2 of Dragonflight, you end up with an issue where the more casual or lower level key players struggle with basic healing, and those lower level key mistakes become disastrously hard to heal, so I can only imagine how tough that was. And players in higher keys, you're just struggling to keep up with no real benefit for doing so. By making damage on healers and even tanks more impactful, you essentially emphasize the mastery of Mythic Plus with healing. You found open time to stop healing or to stop mitigating and start doing damage. Reward us for it. This means at lower levels of play, players who aren't comfortable doing damage will do more when they find their openings. And in higher level keys where healers might be more expected to do damage, hopefully healers and tanks can provide more of that substantial damage while staying alive, and they're going to feel good doing it. Especially if we don't impact raid healing or PvP healing damage, I think this could be a very fun evolution in World of Warcraft dungeons. But I'd like to hear from all of you as well, from the damage side of things to the healing concerns, and what other things you'd like to bring up about the beta. I didn't even get to talking about how spiky damage was in Season 1 of Dragonflight and how I'd really like to avoid that in The War Within. So be civil down there, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you all in the next one.